Module 5, Lesson 1, Homework. Number 1. The following solids are made up of 1 centimeter cubes. Find the total volume of each figure and write it in the chart below. So for A, what we're doing is finding the volume. So how many 1 centimeter cubes we have. So in A, this first one, what I'm shading blue, so there's 1 centimeter cube. Another one would be right there. So this has a volume of 2. So our explanation here is simple. We can just say, uh, I counted two cubes. For B, we have one, two, three, four. So we have four. And, oh, we need to put our label. So we have four centimeters cubed and two centimeters cubed. So again, I'm going to say I counted four cubes. C, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can say we have six centimeters cubed, and I counted six cubes. Then D gets a little bit more challenging because there are some hidden cubes. So I'm going to start with the bottom layer here. So on the bottom we have one, two in the front, but since there are these two on top that means that there are another two in the back. So because there has to be something for those, those to be sitting on. So there's four on the bottom. So there are four on the bottom layer and then we can see that there's another one two on the top layer so that would mean that there are four and two so six centimeters cubed for E Let's see, it looks like the bottom layer and the top layer are equal. So it's one rectangular prism. So there's six on the top layer. So we have six on the top layer. And then that means we have six on the bottom layer. That would add up to 12 centimeters cubed. And then the last one, we have Again, a rectangular prism, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the top layer. And then the same amount on the bottom layer, eight on the bottom layer, which would give us 16 centimeters cubed. Number two, draw a figure with the given volume on the dot paper. Letter A is three cubic units. So there are many different ways that you could draw it. I'm just going to draw three cubic units in a line because I think that's the easiest method for me. So there's one cube. Then I'm just going to add on to it. So another two. So there's three cubic units. So you could have drawn three up and down, you could have had two on the bottom, one on the top, um, different ways to do it, but that's how I chose to do it. So now with six cubic units, you can either do six units all in a row, which is what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna expand that. and then make it three-dimensional. So there are my six cubic units. Now for 12 cubic units, I'm going to do, uh, let's do two rows of six. You could do two rows of six, you could do three rows of four. Um, many ways to do it. But since I've already done six, I'm going to do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six.
I'm going to use that as my top layer and I'm just going to expand it down and add another layer so that we have our bottom layer. So that is 12 cubic units. Again, you could have different answers as long as you have 12 cubes and your drawing is accurate, um, it should be good. Number three, John built and drew a structure that has a volume of five cubic units. His little brother tells him he made a mistake because he only drew, drew four cubes. Help John explain why his little brother, to his little brother why his drawing is accurate. So what his little brother is saying is he only sees one, two, three, four cubes. John is saying that it has five cubes. So he needs to explain to his brother that there is one hiding underneath this first one because it can't just be floating there. So we could say there is a cube hidden under the second layer or bottom layer. And you can kind of draw an arrow to where that's pointing. Number four, draw another figure below that represents a structure with a volume of five cubic centimeters. So we want to draw something that's different than the one that was up here. I'm just going to draw five all in a row. There it is, five cubic centimeters. You could draw something different. As long as there are five cubes there, we are both correct.